going out to the lake, how well can the Sony a7 IV handle the heat, perform with photo and video as a hybrid camera all day long? Well, let's find out together. How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I'll bring along with me to talk about the Sony a7 IV and the overheating issues. So let's jump right into it. Ever since I got the Sony a7 IV, I've been asked if it overheats or has it overheated into any usage that I've done. And today I wanted to set the record straight. The Sony a7 IV to me has been a great hybrid camera. And that's one of the main things that I was kind of hoping to know if it was going to be be able to be used in a more professional setting to see how the heat would handle it since I live in Texas. So one of the reasons why I never got the ZV-E1 because I kept hearing about the overheating and since where I live it's usually about 35 to 45 degrees Celsius which most of the time the heat index here in Fahrenheit it says it's like about the triple digit so not about 100 if that makes it easier for you to know. So I decided to bring the Sony a7 IV pair with the 20 to 40 as my only camera when it came down to bringing it to my an awesome trip to put it to the test into the lake to see how well it would do with the heat and everything like that and if it'd be a great camera for all around kind of travel you know photography videography professional work and everything for a little bit of a spoiler break i'll let you guys know that it honestly never overheated and i was actually really surprised and i kind of want to dive a little bit deeper into that because i want to talk about the conditions that i use the camera in so that way it maybe it'll help you out in case you're wanting to know how well it could perform to you if you live in a similar location like mine. So we were in Austin, Texas, and we're going off on the boat and around the lake and just being around Texas is just overall hot recently. So it's one of the bigger issues whenever it comes down to camera gear. We had triple digits in Fahrenheit every single day and in Celsius it was like most of the time like the 35 to 38 range feeling like 42 to 45 degrees which to me is wild and I used this camera all day long and to be honest it was kind of surprising because even the battery life in this mind you I was closing it and turning it off all the time was phenomenal the whole day that i did it on a saturday we were out just doing things out by the house that we we're staying at as well when we went into the boat and everything the battery lasted all day long up until the next day even which i only dropped down to like about 32 percent and the craziest thing is not once was there any overhitting like signs or issues or anything whatsoever and I was shooting consistently. Mind you, I was not shooting for long periods of time where I was like just 30 minutes straight, but I was doing where I would do, you know, 30 second snippets, 10 second snippets, continuously here off and on, then switching over to, you know, shooting some photos and everything, which was the wildest thing to me that I was thinking at any given moment, it's gonna overheat because the funniest thing is one of my friend's phone overheated and he had his iPhone and he's like hey can you put that in the shade because it's overheating and I just don't want it to you know keep overheating and I want it to cool off so I can get on my phone and so on so we actually actually had to put it like in the cooler and this bad boy never had any struggles with it I was taking videos out on the lake I was taking photos even when we were not on the lake I was taking footage out there when we're at the house just kind of hanging out doing whatever stuff that we're wanting to do jumping off the little I guess um, kind of little cabana thing that they had at the river and the house that we're staying at and there was no issues whatsoever that was my main concern that I was like is this camera gonna overheat am I gonna have some issues am I gonna have to figure out a hack to make sure that it lasts and surprisingly I didn't have to so that hopefully clears up any you know doubt when it comes down to this camera because the Sony a7 IV was considered to overheat whether they changed something in like a firmware update not long ago whenever they did one because they haven't done one in a while and also using the higher intensity of the I guess the internal temperature kind of gauge I had no issues and that's something that actually makes me very happy because knowing how hot it is here in Texas having the opportunity to be able to bring this camera as my one and only video camera and photo camera was really great because I was able to capture great photos of basically the the bachelor party that we had to go to to capture so for me that was like really cool that I was able to not miss a moment and make sure I was taking every photo and video that I could to ensure that everything worked out smoothly I was able to take photos just on the the boat with harsh lighting because we were there from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So as you know, that's like the hottest part of the day. And that was just 
in awe for me to have this camera not overheat one single bit. The coolest thing too is just being able to have a smaller compact like, you know, lens and body to be able to, you know, make sure that nothing is too over, you know, heavy when it comes down to being on the boat and having to move too much because I didn't want this to kind of get all messed up or go into the water or anything like that and had no issues whatsoever. So that was really cool to me that it just, it worked its way perfectly because the the 4K60 is cropped anyway in the Sony A7 IV. So I was able to get a little bit more reach when I wanted to get a little bit more, you know, slow motion with the 4K60, but then also get that 1080p 120 frames per second with the S and Q just to get a little bit of extra footage that way so that I didn't miss any beat when it came down to it and never overheat with the higher frame rates either, which is quite awesome if you ask me, or if you're wondering yourself if you need to get this camera. But that's all I really wanted to cover today because I've been asked a lot if my Sony a7 IV overheats, how's the video, how's this? And I thought it was perfect opportunity to take this camera out to Austin and Texas to just really put it through the heat at the lake because we're gonna be in harsh lighting. And for this bachelor party that I was having to do some photos and videos for, it just made a lot of sense to bring this camera as a standalone just to see how it would perform and not bring too many bodies because as you know, with, you know, bachelor parties or anything like that, people tend to party it up and everything like that. I didn't want to have an accident with my Sony a7S III and lose that camera. So I wanted to bring just one body and then bring some extra batteries and memory cards and just kind of cover my bases. It actually brought my Fuji XS10 as a backup just in case, which I didn't obviously have to use, which was awesome. But, you know, I was able to create some great memories out there for them and everything like that with the photos and videos and everything like that. And as well for me, which being out there was really cool because I was hired with one of my friends so it's really cool to get you know have friends support you as well and being there for them that i've known forever so it's really cool to be able to do that with them so really cool to get this camera to not overheat whatsoever in harsh conditions in my honest opinion so if you were wondering now you know and hopefully you enjoyed the footage and photos that i sprinkled across this video so that you could see how we were using it and how i was just performing with it so you can see the footage that we were able to get to show you that it was very harsh you know out there in the light and the heat and everything so that way maybe if you were doubting to get this camera now you won't be in so much of a doubt and you'll be able to pick it up but with all that said and done guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe to this video to catch you guys in the next one see ya